so guys what if you have a grounding grid design something like this and of course this came from a, uh, the basis of what plotting plan you have because based on your plot plan you're going to uh, route your grounding grid so it will be very irregular maybe worse than this worse than this so actually this is a ground grid design just to show you would you rather draw this manually in ATAP grounding grid uh, module I personally would not prefer that one it would be very tough for me especially that when you draw when you draw in the uh, grounding grid module of ATAP it's not very user friendly but if you have you have a way of uh, exporting this one, exporting this uh, AutoCAD file to ATAP, then it will be a game changer. So stay tuned, guys, because I'm gonna show you how to export from AutoCAD to ATAP. So, before anything else, guys. You have to install first the necessary VBA add-on. VBA add-on for this uh, for this particular exercise. I'm gonna show you uh, later on because if this is your first time, it's not yet activated. But uh, don't worry, it's free. You can download it. Download it from uh, AutoCAD uh, website. So here's how it goes. So we go to command bar, type menu. go inside the ETAP folder so whatever ETAP version you have you just have to access it and look for the AutoCAD GGS folder there you go so look for the that COIX but uh, if this is your first time you will not you will not have this one Instead, you'll just, you'll just have this one, that CUI. That's what I've uh, mentioned a ago. So if you have this one, you just have to... You still have to download the VBA installer, the VBA add-on from the AutoCAD website. And it's free. There's no problem with that. So, because I have already pre-installed it, I'm going to access the EP menu 2006 that's UIX file so there you go so as you can see I already have my grounding conductors made out and uh, I also have the grounding rods which I put in black let's check actually I actually did it as run so anyway so going here if this is your first time as I've said if you click this one export ground grid you will not see this one it will ask you to download the it, it has a link, it will show you the link and you, you just click it actually and it will, uh, you're connected to internet it will uh, lead you to the uh, AutoCAD website and uh, just have to take note of what version of AutoCAD you have and just download it right away 
download it and install it it's just straightforward so here because I have already pre-installed it so it says it's ask, asking us to uh, select the conductors and guns to be exported so I want to export them all boom yeah, just like that so depending on your, on your design you just select here on the drop down menu whatever your desired uh, material for your glove grid so on the conductor type yeah. copper sodium, copper hardware whatever your rod type and there's a whole lot of materials here So don't you worry if you don't have decided yet what material are you going to use because inside ETAP we can still edit this stuff. So here because I am I have modeled in meters here on that I am going to choose the meters. This is just the location of your drawing. In the eat up ground with margin. So I just choose OK. And it will be available in my documents. So just access that one when you open the eat up. OK. So there you go, guys. This is the part one of this tutorial. Please stay tuned for the part two where I'm going to simulate it in So, guys, remember what I've said about the COI expand. First, uh, let me go back to the menu. Um, let's go ahead and uh, access the phone. Yeah, I'm going to show you something. So if this is your first time activating the ET menu 2006, the CUIX file is not yet available. What's available here by default is only the, the that, that CUI. Okay. But once you upload it in AutoCAD, once you activate this ET menu 2006.CUI. AutoCAD automatically generates a that CUIX file, but it does not necessarily mean that uh, it's already activated. Okay, if you if the VBA is not yet uh, if the VBA VBA add-on is not yet installed in your AutoCAD, then a prompt will appear. Uh, telling you or showing the link showing you the link to the uh, AutoCAD website where you can download for free this uh, BBA add-on so so anyway <clears throat> so then that's it so if you experience that one just download it, install, install it, it will be just straightforward. See you guys. So stay tuned for the part 2 of this topic. I hope you find this interesting and useful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm your classmate, a normal Pinoy engineer.